The collapse of a stable coin called Terra USD has sent shockwaves across the cryptocurrency market. Terra, which is meant to maintain a one-to-one -one peg with the US dollar, crashed to a low of 20 cents on Wednesday. Well, it's been a tough few weeks for cryptocurrencies, with Bitcoin and Ethereum both falling over 50 percent since their record highs late last year. I think the, the Federal Reserve hiking interest rates definitely has a strong contributing factor to what we're seeing in these markets. Uh, as we know, when the Fed pulls back liquidity, generally the risky assets do not perform as well. But for cryptocurrencies in particular, we noticed that they trade with a very high beta to technology stocks. So when the Fed was raising interest rates, you will see that the NASDAQ was also one of the poorest performers this year. Uh, and I think that has a sentiment spill over to the cryptocurrency space. Uh, of course, last year as well, uh, one of the uh, strong points supporting cryptocurrency was that it was a hedge against monetary debasement. So when the Fed was printing currency and uh, cutting interest rates, um, it was very positive a momentum driver for cryptocurrencies. Coming into this year, when the Fed is tightening monetary policy and also raising interest rates, uh, that argument that you had last year kind of uh, holds less water. And I think that's where you're seeing the sentiment shift to a bit more negative territory. For cryptocurrencies in particular, we are still in the early, early innings of what we are seeing as risk in the stable coin market. As you've mentioned earlier, the Terra had uh, lost its peg to the dollar, that one-to-one -one peg. Uh, one thing that's uh, actually worth paying attention to is the other stable coin Tether, which is, which is the largest market cap stable coin that we have today and accounts for about 70% of the uh, stable coin uh, market. So, over, uh, over the last few days, we have seen that lose its peg against uh, the dollar as well. So it, it remains to be seen uh, whether this is going to continue to exacerbate the situation, uh, knowing that stablecoin is kind of the key bridge between the cryptocurrency space and the fiat currency space. So this uh, uh, requires uh, close watching. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos.